Right, so how does this work? So you've, how's this book laid out, Frank? Right here, it um, has 48 butterflies. Mm -hmm. There's a photo of the adult butterfly, the caterpillar, mm. the chrysalis, and the native food plant. Mm. So if you want a butterfly in your garden, get hold of the food plant, and there's a good chance the butterfly will turn up. Well, wow, that looks extremely user-friendly. Yep, it's the book I wanted when I was a kid. Mm, so you had to write it? Yeah, I had to write it. <laughs> well, what's this one, Frank? Uh, this is the salt bush. Mm. It usually grows out west, but does yeah. fantastic in the garden here. Mm. It uh, has a tiny little butterfly called the saltbush blue and we grow this one, this is the male version mm. uh, for the flowers over here and they are very useful to the stingless bees for pollen. Stingless bees, Australian species? Yes. There's loads of uh, species of Australian bee, right? Oh, there's thousands, thousands of yep. native bees, yes. Okay, so we're not going to see any of these butterflies today, no, probably. No, yes. it's a bit too early in the season. Yeah. And it's been very dry. So the salt bush, which is also good bush tucker, huh? Ah, uh, yes. The uh, chefs get the leaves, dry them, grind them up, and make them into a powder and put them on lamb dishes. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, easy to grow? Yes, grows from cuttings really easily. But very hardy, huh? And hardy. Yep. And it's the silver foliage that reminds me of the elves. Thank you.